In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an auto farm that can produce you 150 million to 200 million coins per day. So I have done a video on this before, but this that was a much more late game design. This is a much more mid game design, so I would very much recommend watching this. Before I do start this video, it would help me out an absolute ton if you did hit that subscribe button and like the video. It does help me out an absolute ton. Yeah, let's get into the video. Currently, my farm only has one layer that's just because i haven't been bothered to put a second layer on but you can put i would say up to three layers before you should move on to this design here which i'm putting on the top right so mid game this design is much much more efficient so let's get straight into it this is how many melon crates by the way i've gained from it so far um, but yeah, we're just gonna start building it. Okay, so of course you want yourself your basic like system at the bottom. You want your conveyors, you want your crate packer, you want all that kind of stuff. But basically what you want is your conveyor there. Of course, you're then gonna want your crate packer and then you're gonna want your storage. So, you know, pretty pretty simple mechanism here. I would recommend having a uh, tier two, but this can work with a tier one. It just won't be as good. And do keep in mind, this does work with any crop. It's just watermelon is probably the best. Okay, so from here, we need to do a little bit of an interesting situation. We've got to place the blocks not like this. We've got to rotate it one time. We've got to rotate it like this. So basically, this allows for the blocks to fall into this little hole, and somehow they do get through here. So if I drop a conveyor, for example, here, it went through. It went through the stair. So that's basically how that works. In comes a little bit of a tedious process. We now have to make this go up eight times on either side. We're going to destroy the dirt blocks on the at the same time. So we're just going to keep doing this and build this up until you've got eight staircases all the way up. Okay, I've got eight staircases in one direction. So then you want to do the exact same on the other side as well. So you want to then place a grass block here and then you want to place some stairs there and do the same thing up that way. I'm not going to do that again because I don't think I have many stairs left. Then once you've completed that bit, then your stair section should look like a giant V. I would then recommend putting a glass outline around this. So you want this like all around it. Obviously not in wood. You can make a small hole here if you want so you can get up easier. But just to show you guys how the glass will be put on, you would just like put it on along the outside like this, just so none of the actual blocks are showing. This isn't completely necessary, but this is just to stop any um, it's extra blocks falling off and then you've got to make sure all of these blocks are the same height so you'd have to like make kind of like an outline around here then basically you'd need to create a glass outline like this all on both sides and basically this will stop anything that falls down here from going out and it will guarantee that it comes all the way down here I'd also recommend putting one below here just in case they fall out that way and they could also fall out from the sides so you've also got to put the glass around like that but basically have this going on your other side of the V and also have it you know on this side as well so you're gonna have to make it on this side as well so assuming you've got your glass surrounding it now comes um, a little bit more expensive stuff so something I didn't realize apparently you also need to build it one block higher than the staircase and basically just surround pretend I'm surrounding my entire thing but I don't have the V so I can't make exact proportions but basically just surround it with a glass thing going all the way around the V so that it'll go like this and then the exact same on the other side. So basically, once you have your ring around the outside, you're going to need stairs. And using these stairs on the outside, you want to have some sort of stair outline around here. So you're going to want it like this and then you're going to want to do the exact same on the other side, you know, just like that. By the way, you can also put a V right next to it um, on this farm. So you can put basically two farms right next to each other, as you can see over there. But basically from here, you're going to want to put glass on the back of the staircase and then put it up one block. This should give you something looking a little like this. Then from here you're going to want to put a conveyor on the first one going in and then basically you're going to need some grass which you are going to put like this. So then you should have some grass looking like this. Now, of course you're going to need yourself a plow and the seed of your choice because we're now going to have a totem there and a totem there. These are going to make sure it picks up everything along here and puts it on this. And then you're going to plow this and then you're going to basically put your seeds here. Okay, quick edit. Apparently we need uh, one more here. <laughs> so basically you're going to have this area plowed here. And of course you're going to want your plant for your seeds here. I'm just going to do it with wheat so I don't have to pick up and worry about how annoying this is. But imagine you have watermelon totems and watermelon seeds. 
So in these watermelon totems, we'll pick up the watermelon and then put it in here, which it will drop down here and then go into the crate packet, which will then go into a chest. This is the most efficient design where basically from here, we're gonna need to create a system like this, where it's gonna stack on top of each other and then drop back down. So this is where we create the exact same thing, just slightly elevated, put it up here. So then we want to place a conveyor here, which I'm gonna guess to place it, you're gonna need to go like this, place one there and then place another one right there. And then you're gonna have your conveyor there. So this is to stop any of these totems putting them on this conveyor because this conveyor is going to be busy with these totems. Okay, something I just realized I forgot to mention, you are going to want glass under this, so you're going to then want to put place your watermelon totems like this, then plow all of this out, and then put your seeds in here. And then from there you do the exact same thing you just did, and basically do this. Now we're going to place another conveyor up here, and then place our watermelon totems like that, and then plow this area. And then we drop down just like the first design and then we put a conveyor here and then repeat the process. So then you basically just be copying this design here on this level until you get to the end. Assuming you've got two of these like I do, this means it will eventually look like this. So before we do finish this design, there is one more thing I need to tell you about and then I'm gonna be showing you guys what I would recommend upgrading the totems to. So you may notice we've got these totems on the end here. These are actually quite important for a later upgrade. So if you go onto a totem and go to quality, you're going to see at level 23 by the looks of things, we are going to get extra percentage of product out, which is how many crops we get from like harvesting something. You're going to get plus 6% product yield for each unique nearby totem. This basically means you're going to need some of the OGs, like you need some carrot, onion, potato, pumpkin, radish, or starfruit totems, and you're going to have all of these along here. Every single one needs to be a different type. You can't have two carrot, that still only counts as one. You're going to need a different totem every single time. And basically what you're going to do is on the edge of the farm, you're going to place some blocks and then put the totems on corresponding with the dirt, just like this. And then of course when it drops down you're going to do the exact same. So about upgrading the totems, I would recommend upgrading these things to around, I guess to try and start with, go 18 or 19, probably 18, then go 35, 35. 36 is where you have to start using gearboxes and those are way too expensive. But if you do end up wanting to expand your farming like this, then you can, I guess. Now, if you want to make this a lot more profitable, if you want to start getting even more, then you can expand this. So this image on screen is the expanded version. So basically you're going to want to do the exact same thing you just did, but you're going to want it one block above these totems here. So basically you're going to want to do the exact same design you're going to want it here. So then from here, you're basically going to have it the exact same as before, where you're going to put these like this. You're going to have the conveyor there, watermelon totems there, and then you're going to plow this area like this. And then you're going to put your other totems right here. So say these are unique totems. And then you're going to put your unique totems right there, which are going to be like the wheat, the pumpkin, the radish, etc. And basically you're going to continue the design of like stepping this up. You're going to go like this and then create yourself another two extra area and basically do the exact same thing as you were doing on the first layer over there or over here. I'd recommend doing up to four layers then moving on to my other design but yeah that is going to be it today's video guys. Very big shout out to Little C who has also changed his nickname on Discord to NotXVibeZ. So big shout out to him for showing me this design. He is an absolute legend and uh, yeah I guess I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.